Hide, hide, hide. Don't make any noise, kid. Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. Today I'm reacting to Life is Beautiful. So I've been doing a few more serious historical dramas, a lot of them kind of relating to World War II. This is one that I put up on a poll on Patreon and won. Um, so of course, I just recently reacted to Schindler's List. Uh, Jojo Rabbit, I'm not sure if I'm going to be releasing this one first or that movie first, but that's either coming soon or uh, came out already on the channel if you've missed those and you want to check those out. But Life is Beautiful. I'm pretty sure that it is a film that is in Italian with subtitles just from renting the movie. But besides that and the fact that it takes place during World War II and it's a drama, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's comedic. Um, I don't really know anything else about this movie. So from the title, I don't know why uh, the title makes me think of It's a Wonderful Life. Um, which is kind of a more serious film, but also with a nice uplifting message. So I'm, I'm expecting that type of vibe from this film, but maybe not. Maybe it's just, maybe it's serious and heartbreaking. Maybe it's a little bit more lighthearted. I don't really know, but I am excited uh, because a lot of my patrons were excited for me to watch this one. But thank you to everyone for watching. As always, if you want to watch my full reactions are up on Patreon. And next week's reaction, whatever classic historical movie that's going to be, that'll be out right now for early access. But for now, let's get into today's reaction. Life is beautiful. Okay, so maybe we're in for a sad story. Oh, okay, okay, maybe there's some balance here. It's an interesting way to start off the film, kind of letting you know beforehand what the tone will be outright with the dialogue. I'm definitely the guy in the passenger seat. <laughs> More than the guy driving. Wait, really? I thought he was just joking. <laughs> I'd be more concerned, especially driving one of those old cars. The safety is so much worse. That looks like they're really going. It's a pretty good stunt, right? <laughs> All the branches left on the front of their car. Come on, you guys. Can't you hear what he's yelling? <laughs> They're just too excited. Look ahead. Oh, that's the title card. <laughs> that's pretty funny, honestly. Yeah, it must be hot. It looks hot out and you're wearing like a jacket. Yeah, you speak so quickly, man. <laughs> Okay, Saul Goodman. <laughs> Holy, what? Wait, what the heck? <laughs> okay, you're really concerned about the poison, man. <laughs> I agree. Women falling from the sky. That was truly unexpected. Did his hat just lift himself or am I going crazy? I, I, I'm digging his enthusiasm and just general vibes. And I don't think that was just a chance encounter, right? That seemed like a meaningful introduction. 30 years in a hotel? You don't want an apartment by that time? <laughs> That's a perfect day for a horse, honestly. What the heck? Did, were they stealing stuff? Oh, can you imagine being that low life of a criminal? Like robbing an old man and shoving him down. You could seriously like kill someone when they're that old. Falling is so deadly. I've never heard of that book, honestly. Sounds like a philosophy book. They speak so fast. Is this just an Italian thing? I, I've heard Italians speak quickly and I've seen a few, you know, movies and stuff. I want this guy as my friend. Come on. Anyone who has that much great energy when going out. <laughs> you overdid it a bit. 
There's a method to doing it, you know. Okay, but what's maybe you enjoy thinking about poetry, you know? <laughs> I love how the kids are just continue playing like pillow fighting in the background. What was the audition like for that role? Oh, things got serious talking about politics. <laughs> He's still after that hat, man. He's like a Jack Sparrow. <laughs> fare tutto l'iter di legge per aprire una libreria di legge ci vuole molto tempo anni eh, years tag intanto lei deve fare la domanda che deve fermare il caposezione she doesn't seem like she wants to help him one bit oh stavo per fare una frittata c'ho le uova da ieri you haven't taken them out of your pockets yeah you're lucky they didn't break come on somebody give him a little help oh careful oh Oh my gosh. Oh, there go your chances. La libreria. Lei se la sogna, caro signore. Oh, come on, dude. I mean, this is bad for his bookstore, but it's pretty hilarious for the movie. <laughs> and I feel like that guy got what he deserved for just being, you know, so unnecessarily unhelpful. <laughs> this is just going to be a movie full of coincidences, isn't it? Like chance encounters. I mean, they, they set the tone with the movie saying it's like a fable, so I think that's to be expected. I mean, he sounds confident, but is he actually going to be good? <laughs> That's the answer. We're out of lobster. Yeah, that was a trick question. Come on. I would love to have this guy as my waiter, honestly. Just for the, like, who would be more entertaining? And I think his service would actually be quite good, even if he was inexperienced. <laughs> Touch your toes. Okay, that's such an awesome philosophy as a waiter. I wish this guy had been my manager back in the day. How did he fall asleep that quickly? I am so envious. I can never fall asleep that fast. I'm a deep sleeper, but I don't fall asleep that quickly. Bro, that's some insane willpower right there. <laughs> this would be me, like, after getting that self-help oh, advice. Like, really? You can just will your way to sleep? <laughs> this guy is hilarious. I don't know if that's the scientific method exactly, but I like your, your reasoning. Yeah, correlation, causation, come on. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Too bad your friend isn't taller. Yeah, he can't read lips, especially from that far away. I like how the friend, though, is telling him everything, like giving him the blow by blow. <laughs> Ferruccio, that's his name, okay. Buongiorno, principessa. Oddio. Dramatic entrance. That's pretty cute, actually. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't just leave it up to fate. I mean, what if you don't cross paths? I'm assuming they will because it's a movie, but come on. There's nothing wrong with setting a date. Biancaneve in mezzo ai nani. Risolvi questo enigma cervellone nel tempo che ti dà la soluzione. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I don't remember what they eat in the movie at all. <laughs> uh, he's, his, he's got that type of mind. Like, once he has a problem, he needs to solve it before he can relax and eat the meal. I can relate. How good? It better be very good for the kitchen to reopen. Because the cooks, you know, that's a lot of extra work for them. You better split the tip with the back of the house, too. Oh, is he? 
<laughs> that's actually really smart. Come on, that's a smart waiter maneuver. <laughs> oh, that's risky. That's risky. <laughs> Pesce, pesce. <laughs> Abbiamo il Gran Marnier, eh, altrimenti un salmone magro. Eh. Un salmone. He's so clever, like the way he pitches it. That's, I really like the way he does that. Takes some talent. Perfetto. Più presto che poi, per favore. Faccio il possibile. <laughs> that was well done. I mean, come on, that's a great waiter move, honestly. <laughs> the, forget it, you keep all the tip yourself. The back of the house doesn't have to do any extra work. You're a miracle worker to this man. <laughs> Give him a really big tip. Buonanotte, dottore. I mean, that was very fortunate that the guy literally wanted to skip his dinner. Ma perché? Lei domani mattina deve andare lì a scuola? Sì. Mi aspettano alle otto e mezzo. What's his plan? What's his plan? This is like when the owner shows up to the restaurant too, right? Anytime that big authority figure shows up and all the rest of the staff is like very uptight. Oh my gosh, he completely impersonates him. <laughs> I mean, hopefully he's honest with her eventually. She's so happy to see him, it's great. This movie is so much more comedic than I expected and I'm, I'm totally down for it. Ha letto la circolare che ho mandato io sull'igiene infantile? Certo. <laughs> oh, what's he gonna ask her? Oh my gosh, he's gonna literally ask her out? Can they hear what he's saying? Signor Ispettore, come sapete, è venuto da Roma del Manifesto della Razza, firmato dai più illuminati scienziati. Oh, is he gonna have to give a presentation? Noi ne siamo onorati. Oh no. che la nostra razza è una razza superiore. La migliore di tutte. That's your demonstration? A racist <laughs> presentation? <laughs> oh my gosh. Grazie. Oh, well, let's see how, how good his improv is here. Talk slowly and with lots of authority. <laughs> Talk about smoke and mirrors. I mean, his confidence is definitely working in his favor. <laughs> the perfection of the ear. Wow. He's, getting, he's engaging the audience. This is good. <laughs> is she going to find, find out what's going on? I can't tell. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I thought he maybe talked to this guy and, like, agreed for him to, like, just not show up or something. Okay, dude. <laughs> You're so busted. He's gonna have to run out of here. <laughs> Although I think his goal is just to get a date with her and I think he will succeed. <laughs> I mean, come on, I'd be forgiving after the amazing service he gave yesterday. An Aryan exit. He is a genuine romantic, man. Shh, wow. That is beautiful. Where is this exactly? Like, what is this shot right here? And those dresses? Come on. Oh, is that an opera? Wow. <laughs> I'm dumb. I thought it was a real location. I've never been to an opera, actually. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's pretty adorable, like he completely, I mean, awkward for her, but adorable for him just to be completely watching the girl he's in love with. <laughs> That's honestly a good excuse, too. <laughs> this guy is so good at coming up with things on the spot. She's gonna look, she's gonna look. Don't whisper too loudly or you're really going to ruin this this other lady's experience. I'll use the power of willpower. Willpower, let's go. Let's go. It's going to work. It's going to work. Come on, I believe in you. There you go. Yes. <laughs> oh, she thinks he's coming on to her. <laughs> I mean, I, I, who knew this was going to turn out to be, like, an awesome romantic comedy? <laughs> I would feel the same way if I had to go to a dinner like that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> He's still after the hat. <laughs> I hope he gets it by the end of the movie. <laughs> Come on, there's no way you like it as much as he clearly does. This guy is the opposite of romantic over here. Okay, come on, help your buddy out. Let's go, let's go. What's in the car? <laughs> she hasn't even looked over. <laughs> I like how he's not telling her either. He's just enjoying this. <laughs> Watch the road. Be careful, though. <laughs> It's destiny. It's destiny. Come on. His charm is just too much. How could you not be won over by this guy? Oh, come on. You don't like it with the other guy anyways. Oh, shoot. Careful. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he learned 10 minutes ago. I'm not even surprised. I mean, the rain is bad, but that's also very can be very romantic setting for movies, depending. And look at that, he finds a way to like at least cover her. It's still pretty sweet, man. Oh. Okay, I think I can see where this is headed. <laughs> She's gonna get the red carpet treatment, come on. Talk about the best date ever. I mean, this is undeniably romantic. It does go to show you that when you go on a date with someone, it's more about your connection and your vibe and your energy than literally what's going on. You know, because this could be a situation where you're very uncomfortable, but it's not. It's it's very sweet. <laughs> that reminds me of Hill House, right? That those lines of dialogue about just needing the right key and every person has the key. Sorry, kind of a random reference, but... He's gonna look so smooth right now. <laughs> I mean, at this point, that's so good. <laughs> what a line. There's something so sweet about his absolute honesty and the way he just is expressing himself. Oh shoot, okay, okay, end the date, run away. Oh my gosh, it's just all working out. This is fate helping him out on a date. <laughs> The guy doesn't even get a complaint about how his hat is soaking wet. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna start praying a lot more now. <laughs> they be okay, I'm just worried now because the opening said that it's both happy and sad and so far this movie is just amazingly happy. It better not have a tragic ending. Is that an egg he's holding? No way, that's huge. Wow, that's pretty extreme. Why? What is her problem? <laughs> the hiccups. Oh no, is he marrying the girl? What? We got Shrek colors here. What does it say? I wonder if she was so reluctant, though, if she's getting married to this, you know, egg jerk guy. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I love how he just keeps grabbing things. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Has he put it together, though? Doesn't seem like it. Sono per lei, per la sua partenza. I agree. I would remember a waiter like that. He's so like genuine and friendly with everyone. Like that's that has such an appeal. Where's Gollum when you need him to help you out with a riddle? Oh dang, he he figured that out so quickly. Excuse me? 
Yeah, I feel the same way. Non è possibile che un bambino di sette anni risolva un problema di questo genere. I think she was saying that for a different reason. Un milione e duecentomila marchi al giorno. Facile, no? He completely doesn't have a clue. Neither of them do. What oh. is that? Buongiorno, principe. I have never eaten at fancy places like this before. <laughs> She's instantly so happy, like, come on, they are destined to be together. <laughs> he literally has to, like, drag her to the dance floor. <laughs> she could not show much more reluctance in her body language. And the fact that the guy isn't even picking up on it, you know, shows kind of just how disconnected he is from her. I mean, look at him, he's not even looking at her, he's just looking around, having a great time. This dance is giving me Godfather vibes a little bit. Godfather too. And if I was one of the random guests here and I was attending this party, after the party, the first thing I'd talk about is like, didn't it look like she was not excited about the engagement at all? You know, it's so obvious on her face. Oh, he's going to drop it. He's going to drop it. Oh, she completely turns her cheek. Oh, dude. Imagine what would his reaction have been if they had kissed on the lips? <laughs> he didn't notice the change in weight. <laughs> Oh, he's so distracted because he liked her so much. Come on, call off the engagement. Okay, wow, 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 wow. Who would say that, man? Jolly is one word to describe him. Maybe he needs to go home for the night. You don't want to keep dropping stuff and lose your job. She literally goes under the table. Okay, that was a legendary maneuver. This is so risky. <laughs> and the fact that no one even noticed shows like how bad their relationship is. Don't get caught, I'm so concerned. That was a great first kiss. Oh, look at that smile. These people are so wealthy. I mean, that's insane. She's like, come on, enjoy it. And she's like, I'm thinking about my love, okay? Oh no, is a horse cut. What? What is he doing? Dude, I hope you don't get fired. Prego, principessa. <laughs> oh. Veloce, principessa. Yeah, hurry, hurry. She gonna climb over the table? Tell me she is. <laughs> yes! He's like, is this really happening? <laughs> kind of how I'm like right now, too. Everyone claps. <laughs> Dang it, that's the thing that triggered his memory, though. And that was a real egg, that's an ostrich egg, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the right response. It definitely had, you know, some graduate energy about it. What is this location? Just follow her, come on, come on. Don't be too oblivious. Oh, you worked though, well done, man. I think she's leading you to an even more romantic location. <laughs> I really like how they did that. I like how the camera just stayed there and it tells you everything you need to know. Wait, did we do a massive time jump? Is that their kid or something? Okay, it is. Wow. Wow, that was unexpected. But I, I like how they did that. I love it. So, it's so awesome, like, seeing, you know, parents with their kid all being happy together. Ciao, Dora. Ciao. You know how you watch some movies like Marriage Story and it makes you never want to get married? I feel like watching movies like this, it, it gives you the other side of how it could be, you know, when things go well. That, can you believe that? Can you believe that that would be put on a sign for real? I mean, obviously, but... I like how he doesn't let that type of discrimination, like, bring him down at all or, like feel like he's limited you know even though it's horrible that it's being done you know he just pushes past it and is like we make do with how we can oh no what's gonna happen come on is that necessary put the cigarette out on the window someone has to clean that you do realize that <laughs> 
What? I can't believe at his age he's running the shop. I like how he go he goes with his dad though to help him. You know, and that's great they have a shop too. <laughs> I'm sure he's doing that too because the you know his son is probably worried. What is she gonna do? She better not steal stuff because it's just a kid watching. Are they completely estranged after she married him, Guido? Is that what happened? Sharp kid, sharp kid. What do those men want, though? What does that say? I'm assuming something. <laughs> this kid is so adorable, too. Come on. How did they find a kid this adorable for the movie? You could definitely see he has some traits from his dad. That is impressive. Look at that. They're being great parents. This I know this is going to have something horrible happen and I don't want to see it because it's so amazing now. I mean, it is so, so sweet. He's trying to keep his son calm. Oh. Mi faccia salire su quel treno. Dang, I'm surprised he's he's even caring at all about what she wants. But this just means they're all gonna die, right? I mean, talk about the love that they have for each other. For her to willingly go. I mean, this is a bit of a magical story, but they also said it's sad, so I don't know if there's a chance, you know, they can somehow all make it out alive. Some of these wide shots are, throughout this movie, I've just been noticing, are really well done and well lit and just appropriate for the moment, like when it should be a wide shot as opposed to cutting in closer. And the kid is smart, I feel like he can tell something is wrong. Oh, what? Yeah, that is not an encouraging sight. I mean, he's doing his best. He's doing his best to, you know, sell this as something fun, but you can only do so much when the reality is completely the opposite. Don't get singled out. Don't get singled out because you're talking. Then why is he saying he speaks German? Oh, I hope he can bluff his way out of this somehow. <laughs> this is kind of darkly hilarious. I mean, what are the rest of them thinking, you know? Oh, but it does make his son feel better. Good thing none of the Germans speak. <laughs> Good thing none of them speak. I do wonder what he's actually saying. I mean, this is all for his son. <laughs> I mean, what a gesture for his son. And that was just a great sequence, of course, set up by his, you know, kind of his adventures in the first act of the movie. But see, now he's convinced so much more. Oh no. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah, exactly, they will. You have to stay alive, okay? Come on. You guys have to make it out alive somehow. But the facade is gonna, you know, it can only stay for so long before he's gonna put everything together. Wait, where's the dad? Oh, thank goodness, okay. I mean, he must be so tired. Yeah, he can barely even hold him. But to still, like, have energy to smile. 
It's like, who's a better movie dad, honestly? Oh, he's giving him his food. I was worried they were just going to kill him because he was injured or something. And it's so, it's so great that other people are playing along, too. Yeah, they're not doing it to be nice. But are they going to do it to all the kids? Come on, tell me they're going to, like, get out of here somehow. Oh, gosh. Right now? But he doesn't, he doesn't know what that means? Is there a place they can hide him? I mean... Hide well, stay hidden. Oh, the uncle man. What was that moment? That was interesting. I don't get why, what was going on there. How come he even stayed with them like this and not with wherever all the other kids are to begin with? I mean, it's fortunate because now hopefully they have a chance to hide him, but... I mean, I don't know, maybe now is the time to drop the facade and just speak to him seriously. I mean, I know he'll be scared, but tell him, like, whatever happens, stay hidden. Oh, be careful, man. Be careful. I hope you have a good plan. Don't get caught. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine what it means to her to hear their voices? But I'm so worried, like, where are all the guards? Oh. Hide, hide, hide! Don't make any noise, kid. Oh my gosh, get down! What? Wait, that's the same guy? Hold on a second, that's the same guy! What the heck? Oh, come on, tell me that that's... His connection's gonna be enough to help them out. Oh, tell me this is their way out of here, come on. Oh, that's way better, that's way easier than all this horrible hard labor. Oh no, oh, tell me they didn't find him. Thank goodness, I mean, jeez. The kid's too smart, the kid's too smart. I think he's gonna run out of excuses soon, yeah. I mean, it's amazing that he's been able to, you know, keep his son, Joshua, like, calm for this long, honestly. Okay, what's his plan now? This is gonna work. The bluff is gonna work. <laughs> Wait, they're bringing the German children over? Is that what's going on? I mean, if there's a way they can get Joshua to somehow get mixed up with these kids, I don't see how that's possible, though. But maybe that could be a way to, like, have him come out in the open. Good kid, good kid. This is risky, though. I mean, I, I can see why he would want to, like, let his son finally have some fun. But I just hope no one recognize- like, the other kids, they don't recognize him as like, we don't know this dude. <laughs> For three weeks. Oh, watch out, watch out for her. Get down, get down, hide, hide. Oh no, you guys were too obvious. Oh, don't tell me. Yeah, don't say a word, don't say a word. Oh, I'm so nervous now, like this is so risky. Come on, help him out, dude. Smooth, smooth. Oh no. What can they do? What can they do?
<laughs> Thank goodness he came up with that, man. That was smart, man. The dad is so smart. Thank goodness. Can you imagine if it was just me? Like, I would be able to think of all this great ways to keep my kid alive. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It's so risky for him to even be talking to him. At least he's having some food, too. He must be so hungry, man. I'm assuming he's telling you to eat slowly so he doesn't get sick because he's been so, you know, malnourished. Don't be obvious, you guys. You can only pull that trick off so many times. Be discreet, be discreet. Wait, is this guy not gonna tell them and just wants to, like, play riddles? Are you- is that what's going on here? Or is he being secretive about how he's gonna help? Is this really what he's concerned about? Is this what's going on right now? Because this is unbelievable. You're saying help from him? Dude, you help him, man. I don't, I don't get this. Is he for real? How could he be, like, as <laughs> unbelievable? Well, great. There goes their one chance of getting out or something. Can they hear from that far away? I wonder if there's a way that he can tell her that their son is alive. Because I'm assuming she d has no idea. I'm surprised no one's noticed the music yet. Okay, don't get my hopes up for a good ending and then have it end horribly, please. Come on, just come on, come on, hide and be quiet. That is a good hiding spot, I think. I mean, how? How can he just get her out? I love that blue lighting in the back. <laughs> Was he gonna disguise himself? Okay, it's so risky. Oh no! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, come on, that's insane! You've gotta be kidding! Oh my gosh. <laughs> to me, that was like a prayer of desperation. Wow. Good thing those soldiers were oblivious. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Tell me she's alive. Where, where, where? Oh, she's right there? Oh no, oh no! Oh gosh. Was that her there? Oh. I mean, it was a nice attempt. I wonder why he spared him. Is there any chance he overpowered the guard? I mean, what's he gonna do? Come on, tell me they're gonna reveal the dad and that he's somehow... Oh, he thinks it's the tank, finally. I mean, it is a tank, but... You guys better stop! Hello? Okay. <laughs> That's so great that he gets to have this moment, at least. Stop! This is such a cool... Thank goodness he's being so cool towards him and, like, helping him out. Oh, wow. All right, so that is Life is Beautiful. Um, I I love that movie. Uh, I it surprised me in a number of ways. I mean, first of all, I, it was interesting, like the structure of the film. Um, I can't off the top of my head think of something that's kind of broken down this way, and I could see this type of structure not working very well, but the way it was executed, it worked perfectly in this movie. What I'm talking about is that I was so surprised, you know, I was kind of expecting a more serious movie going into it. And obviously having finished it now, it does have, you know, some very, very serious, you know, tragic, sad things that happen. But what I, I didn't expect, what surprised me in a really good way was how the whole first half of the movie 
was this love story, this romance between Guido and Dora. And it was a great romance. I mean, it was so good to the point where you could have made the entire movie with the two of them as a romantic comedy because their chemistry was so great. I mean, Guido, Guido, I, I, hope, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, please uh, help me out there. But it was he was such a great character. I mean, to me, he stood out because, I don't know, he didn't remind me of a, a stereotypical protagonist, especially for a romantic film. You know, he, in a weird way, like he reminded me of a, a kind of a, Kind of a car salesman, but, you know, kind of a Saul Goodman type, but in the best possible way. Like, he was able to do that, but you were completely on his side, completely rooting for him. And there was this innocence about him, like, with all his shenanigans and craziness, it was entertaining, it was fun, it was charming, and very, very innocent. And his love for Dora and her love for him and the way that that whole sequence unfolded, it was almost like its own little movie, like the two of them. And then, of course, they had that distinct breaking point where they jumped forward in time and they have a son who let me just point. I mean, let me just point out the acting for everyone in this movie was stellar, like top notch, some really great performances that just made the emotions of this movie work perfectly. But the kid playing Joshua, I mean, one of the most adorable kids ever, right? I don't know who that kid is and how they were able to get someone that young, give that convincing and natural of a performance. I mean, I don't think there was a single moment with any of the characters on screen where it felt like I was watching actors. It felt like I was I was completely immersed. And for the kid as well to be conveying, you know, fitting in with that completely, you know, I'm, I'm not looking at him like, oh, I can see he's giving a good performance. It just, I'm watching him like, no, that's, that's Guido's son. That's Joshua right there. And so that's truly incredible. I, I don't think that happens very frequently. But, you know, the heart and soul of it was really just their family and you're rooting for them. So, I mean, I was rooting for them so, so much. And I think spending that first half of the movie, like letting us see the sweetness of the romance and the, the, the beautiful family that they had before, of course, we go to the more tragic element, you know, with them all rounded up. Um, and I mean, tough Dora offering to go with them just because, you know, she wants she didn't want to stay safe when her husband and her son are gone. What a sacrifice. I mean, the the moral character of both Dora and Guido, like pair like name better parents in movies, honestly. Name a better couple. I mean, they were just amazing. And I, you're rooting for them so, so much. And Guido, you know, the fact that the entire time, of course, his whole focus is to you know, keep his son calm and not let him be scared and keep an optimistic attitude and look fearless when you must be terrified and depressed and exhausted and miserable. And, you know, you you realize fully as an adult the, the total gravity of the situation. But to see him kind of channel his upbeat personality and keep a brave face and think on his feet, man, he pulled off some incredible things to help keep his son alive. And then some of the things he did, you know, some of the really sweet gestures, you know, when he was able to do that for Dora in the concentration camp, too, um, was just really touching, a really emotional movie. Uh, and then it was so sad. It was kind of crazy. I, I feel, I guess, a little bit dumb that I was holding on. I was holding on to some hope because I didn't see the face of the guard really quickly, like after he shot and killed Guido. But I was hoping there was a chance that we were going to have a slightly fantastical ending and he was going to be alive. So I was, I was actually expecting that a little bit. And I'm, I'm happy they didn't in a way because. I guess the the film has the courage to not shy away from the tragedy of the moment. And I also think that kind of ties in the general message of the movie. I mean, that I that I take from the title, which I think is kind of the thesis statement, you know, life is beautiful. But with that, I think that, you know, you can expand upon that sentiment and it's demonstrated in the film, like the events that unfold. Like life is beautiful despite the tragedy of the circumstances you might find yourself in. You know, if you, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting emotional talking about it, but I mean, if you truly cherish, you know, the love that you have and your family, um, there is a real beauty there. There's a beauty in 
in everything that um, that uh, Guido did for his son and for his wife. Um, and I don't know that it, in a way, like the film is inspiring too, because to see characters with that level of, you know, purity and selflessness, despite these just horrific circumstances. I mean, for me, that's inspiring, you know, superhero movies aside, you know, heroic characters, Guido is a true absolute hero and he gave his life in the best possible way and he also got to experience some of the beauty of life and i think you could easily put someone else even a good person you know not even a horrible person but you could put someone else in the same exact situation and their what they get got from that you know would have been completely different but i think what was so incredible was the fact that that he was able to hold on to that I, I I guess the none of the pain and suffering made him bitter and made him lose sight of the things that are worth being valued in our short time here on Earth, if that makes sense. Um, but very, very good. I mean, there were some really good directing choices. You know, in general, it just felt like very well edited, very well paced. Um, like I said, some of the wide shots, you know, were lingering wides and were just really well framed, if that makes sense. And, um, I also, there are a few, you know, surprising moments too, you know, him, you know, the whole interaction with the, the German, I forget the guy's name, but the German who he knew from the restaurant and the moment when the guys, you know, the whole time, you know, I feel like us, we're supposed to be just in Guido's shoes. Like we're expecting him to actually get help from that guy. And then you find out that what he's concerned about is the riddle. And that that was a really powerful moment for me because it was a surprise, but it was so effective to kind of show the absolute disconnect um, between the Nazis and the Jewish people that they were murdering. You know, like there's a level of disbelief that human beings can, you know, treat other human beings to that degree. And it actually does make sense character wise in a way, too, because I don't know. I, I would imagine that the people, you know, the Nazis doing these actions, you know, I'm sure some of them were racked with guilt, but I think there is something about them getting accustomed to viewing other people as animalistic and lesser, where, you know, their conscience isn't even bothering them. And they're so detached from the moral reality that, you know, it doesn't even register like what how his words, you know, how his concern and fixation on the most trivial of things could come across to someone who's desperately trying to keep his family alive. But I, I love the the setup, kind of the misdirection, because it made that reveal so much more powerful. And the acting from everyone in that scene was really, really well done. Um, I don't know. I, I'm so glad I watched this movie. This was a very powerful movie, very emotional and inspirational too um sad but i still highly highly recommend it um like i said this one was one of the top winners on the patreon poll that's why i watched it i'm very very glad that this was the one recommended um thank you to everyone as always for watching along uh, like i mentioned at the beginning if you want to watch any of my full reactions uh, they're up on patreon and if you're just watching on youtube feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed this reaction and you want to see i, I try to do about one classic older movie once per week generally i've been doing some you know movies dealing with some issues you know some more serious issues like tragedies of the holocaust and world war ii um and i and i'm kind of enjoying exploring that side of cinema as well as some of the more lighter you know comedic or action-based things that i do but thank you to everyone for watching and as always remember be active be mindful and be a hero <laughs>